Okay. New little nice light here. I don't know how this looks. It probably looks a bit too uh, too bright. But in the background is my new indoor zwifting light. Add a little bit of ambiance to the occasion. Um, I want to talk about my plans for this year. And I don't think they're going to be any any particular order. It's just like as far as I can remember them. I don't know how I actually want to like document this year's journey because. Like in the past, I've just sort of jumped from one goal to the next and just sort of, you know, the video titles and everything have all sort of just been kind of generic and I'm thinking this year, I want to I want to try something different with the videos, with the video format and with the structure and, and give it more of a, of a story and more of a, a series feeling, if that makes sense. So this season, this year, okay, 2022 is going to be a fairly long one. Um, it's gonna probably start like in February, technically, uh, or even now, really, with all this Zwift that I'm doing. And then it's gonna end in like the end of October, which is usually like the National Hill Climb Championships, and then kaboom. So I've got a list here, but like I said, they're in no particular order, but I'll, I'll, I'll try and keep it ordered. And then as we go along, those will change. And the way I'll structure the videos is if you know, or if you haven't haven't seen this video and you don't know what I'm planning on doing, then the idea will be that somewhere maybe in the video titles or in the thumbnails, I'm gonna keep the theme of what's next alive. So let's say, well, for argument's sake, I'm, I've entered a duathlon. I've entered a duathlon uh, at, the, at the beginning of March. It's local to me, it's, your, it's any excuse for me to do a 30 kilometer bike time trial okay, there's a 5k run either side of that, but still. So like, in regards to that, I want to, like with the videos, I'll, I'll have a, a general sort of, I'll have a general sort of series of videos going all the way up to that. And then when that's done, then we switch to the next one. There'll be a general series of videos going up to that one and so on and so forth throughout the year. There'll be a mix of like normal sort of vloggy videos, I suppose like this, and then there'll be a mix of like, like the really kind of smart and like trying to, be a bit more well put together videos if I can even attempt to do even. Here's my list in no particular order. So obviously you know duathlon. I'm doing the wildflower duathlon which is near me at the beginning of March. Uh, I used to run in the past so those of you that are wondering what the heck I'm doing it's not completely alien to me. So like some things that I'm planning on doing are gonna require like a a different level of fitness to other things, you know, for example, um, the A-bike race that I'm doing, uh, I think in May, oh, I don't even know when half of these things are. Obviously the National Hill Climb Championships at the end of October is two completely different things. One's a thousand kilometer bike race and the other one's like a, a three kilometer bike race. Hopefully, fingers crossed, I'm going to do the Marmot this year, the Marmot Grand Fondo. Uh, and I also want to do the Alpe d'Huez Hill Climb, which is usually a couple of days before that. I really want to go to Mallorca this year. Charlie's never been. I want to take her. I want to do the Sacalobra KOM attempt. Uh, I want to rope a couple of people in to do that. Um, get a bunch of people out there. Get some uh, good footage shot and get like a lot of hype built up around that. I really, really want to stab at the Sacalobra KOM. Um, road racing. Yes, I want to go back to road racing particularly the Welsh Road Race Championships. We're on a nice course this year and I really want to have a, a stab at road racing again because it's where my passion lies. I've always loved road racing. I missed it this year. I gutted I missed it. I want to go back and do some road racing. Even if it's just one road race, I'm setting myself that target. Um, like I said, the, the event, the air bike race, that's happening. Um, Steph, uh, who I know from a band of climbers photo shoot. She's also a band of climbers ambassador. Steph's doing it. We've been chatting back and forth and gonna compare and share notes regarding that event. I also have the Hort route. Uh, I have a couple of options as to which one I wanna choose. I'm kind of edging towards um, the three day Alp event, uh, just because of where it fits in the season. If you wanna know about how I'm gonna plan all this, maybe we'll sit down and we'll do a little bit of like annual training plan planning video for you. So let me know if you want to see that. Um, it'll just be a little bit of a, an overview as to how I'm planning on going about structuring all of this. Um, then I want to I wanna have a stab at, so last year I did some time trials, but this year there's a couple of like, um, 
like point to point records and things. Uh, not just point to point records, there's even like records like around the Brecon Beacons National Park, um, which is like four and a half hours uh, time trial basically, you against the clock. Um, it's quite hilly, even goes over the Black Mountains. It's just something that tickles my fancy because like some of what I'm going to be doing this year is going to be endurance based. Okay, so the, the, some of these now are, they're like hopefully gonna happen, but you can never bank on it. I'm still in discussions with people about these things happening. Hopefully they do happen. The Taiwan KOM, it's been postponed for a couple of years. Hopefully this year it happens. Fingers crossed, um, we've got some partnerships coming on board that can help that um, as a possibility. Uh, the other thing as well is the Everesting World Record attempt. Even though that's kind of like been on the horizon for a while, it still needs planning and it still needs like proper preparation for. Then I want to do some long weekend like UK camps based on sort of climbing experiences. Uh, I'm basing this on kind of like the backpedal community, which is also like, you know, you guys, the community who watches videos. Um, where I want to kind of like uh, throw some cycling weekends, um, get some accommodation sorted, get all that catering and everything sorted, and we kind of have like three days of riding some really cool routes with some really awesome climbs, um, and just generally having fun, to be honest. We already have one event planned. I haven't actually organized it, but uh, a guy called Nick, who's in the backpedal community, uh, taken it upon himself to create a massive spreadsheet and has um, uh, and has gone and set up this uh, this huge sort of group ride. Um, it's not going to be labelled anything more than that for insurance purposes, but it's uh, it's going to be like a massive ride in North Wales where we do about two hundred and fifty odd kilometres on six thousand metres of climbing. Um, that's not everybody's cup of tea, I know. Uh, so hence why I had the idea of just doing these little climbing experience camps weekends where we just take in a couple of climbs, a couple of coffees and uh, some chatting too. Goes without saying, uh, the British Hill Climb series, got to do that again, plus the British Hill Climb Championships. And I really want to have a go and try at a gravel hill climb event this year. Um, so if you know of any club or anything that organizes a, a local hill climb on gravel, um, let me know. Uh, I would love to come and have a go. Uh, hopefully I'll have a gravel bike sorted by then, of course. Um, but yeah, uh, that's something I want to put on my list. Now, there's a couple of extra things on here, but I'm not going to share them with you because um, they're under the Beyond 2022. You wouldn't believe how big the list is. and It, it just keeps growing every week, and I, I don't know what to do, quite frankly. Like, how am I ever going to be able to do all of this stuff? I mean, I'm not, am I? Like, it is what it is. But yeah, that, you know, that's it. Like, I don't really care. I just want to ride my bike. I want to have fun. I want to take you along with me. And I want to do some crazy things with my well-earned fitness. So, that's going to be it from me. Any questions, anything at all, leave them down in the comment section down below. I thank you so much for watching. And I hope you look forward to what's coming up. And here's the 2022. See ya.